Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna look at the best thing I have in my Star Wars collection. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. We just finished going through all of the vintage Star Wars action figures over in my shorts. So we started with A New Hope, went to Empire Strikes Back, went to Return of the Jedi, went and looked at every single figure. They all had capes, they all had their sticks and staves, weapons, suitcases, what have you. You got to see every single figure uh, in the Star Wars universe that it came out originally before Power of the Force. But there was one more figure I didn't show you and what I'm wearing today right now might actually be a clue as to what that is. Hey, it's me. And here it is. It is my carded, yes, on card, Han Solo, the Endor edition, Han Solo in trench coat. He's still in his little plastic bubble, still on his carded 77 back. It came to me exactly like this. I've never taken it out of the exterior plastic container. Um, found this on a Star Wars Facebook group. Uh, the guy that sold it to me said, uh, I see you have a really big collection. Do you have any figures on, on card back? And I was like, no. And he said, everybody needs at least one figure on card back. And uh, that, that sold me, <laughs> that was it. So looking this figure up on the internet, uh, he starts in value at around $150, so I would say at least it's worth that. There's some yellowing underneath the bubble and around where the glue is. I don't really know uh, exactly how figures are graded, but of course it's going to be like how pristine it is. The corner down here, it's got a little bit of a, a bend in it, but uh, it is my only carded figure, and so it has become one of my favorites because I was, I was there, right? This is, this is my childhood. I was, I was buying these figures when they were sold in stores, when they came on card backs, just like this. This is, this is what I remember. So seeing them all on the peg hook, going through them, finding the figures you want, getting your mom to buy them for you. Um, and the cool thing about the 77 back and all these back designs, if you look, they're all numbered, right? You can see all the little numbers and then you can find the names of them down below. So every time they came out with a new one, my brother and I would save these, right? We would save these card backs and we would circle or we would line out maybe the ones we had and we'd circle these up here and say, oh, these are the ones we want. So, you know, if your mom went to the store, she could take the card back with her and she would know which figures you had and which figures you wanted. So that would help uh, your mom and dad out. But it was a cool way to... Uh, keep track and to daydream about all the figures that you did want. I've heard there are people that have these in their collection and then they feel a little nostalgic and they want to open it. You know, right? They, they say, I, I want to I wanna have that feeling again of, of opening the figure. And so they open the bubble, they take the figure out, they, you know, maybe smell it, I don't know. <laughs> and you get that little sense of deja vu, like, oh, I remember my childhood and moving the figure for the very first time, because I'm sure his joints are like nice and stiff. But then the feeling wears off and then it's instantly replaced with regret. Uh, I've heard from people time and time again that opening the figure did not give them the, the same joy that it did when they were kids. And they immediately regretted it and wish they hadn't done it. So I'm I'm just putting this out as a warning to you. If you're thinking about opening yours just to get that feeling once again, don't do it. Don't do it. It's, they're, they're worth more like this. They, they're, they're getting harder and harder to find like this every single year. Uh, more of these figures are harder to find still on their card backs. And so please, if you're thinking about opening yours, don't, okay? But uh, here's my question to you. Do you have any figures on card back your Self. Do you have any uh, in your collection? Uh, let me know down below what you guys have. And may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.